So here we have the Nissan Juke Techna Automatic on a 67 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see that it's a five door car with tinted windows and alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car you'll see we've got no parking sensors. That's because this car has got a 360 parking camera which I'll show you when we're inside the car. Loads of boot space as well as you can see with that 60-40 split folding rear seat and then that boot space is increased by lifting and if you wish to removing this tray section. Okay so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside but now that we've done a full circle of the car you can see it's in wonderful condition the whole way around. Just briefly before I climb in I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You get full leather interior as you can see. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so now they're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side the speedometer. You can see in the middle the total miles for this car are 2,747, so very low mileage. And also in the middle we have the fuel gauge, coolant temperature gauge and the P in the square is to show you what gear this car is currently in. For example, if I put it into drive, that's now replaced with AD, neutral, reverse and park. We back out to the steering wheel. On the right hand side we have cruise control and speed limiter and on the left hand side we have stereo controls as well as the ability to answer and end phone calls. That is a course once you paired the phone and that is done on the central screen just here. So it's a touch screen, uh, although obviously you can see you've got a few buttons down the uh, right and left hand side. For example, satellite navigation. There's a full video showing that working on our website. When it comes to radio, this car's got DAB digital radio, AM and FM. If you want to listen to your own music, we have a CD player, auxiliary input, and USB input as well. I mentioned when we are at the back of the car, the 360 parking camera, you can see that just there. So we have a reverse camera image there with guidelines showing you where you're headed, and then a bird's eye view image of the car showing the space that it's parked in. It makes it very easy to get this car accurately into a space. If we pop it in park, the camera will disappear, but if we press the camera button there, we now have a front-facing camera and the bird's eye view. Press it again front facing camera and the front passenger side wheel. So with all of those cameras, it does make it incredibly easy to park this car. Working our way down, we have the climate control. So you can adjust the temperature, fan speed, pop the air conditioning on. If you hit that, you turn on auto and the car will take control of the fan speed itself to maintain 16 degrees. Uh, to override that, simply readjust the fan speed yourself. This screen also doubles up as the driver mode screen. So you can put the car in normal, which it was in already, sport and eco, and it will affect the engine, the gearbox, the steering, and the climate control. So for example, in sport mode, the power steering will become firmer, the gearbox will rev higher as well. Underneath that, we have the auxiliary and USB inputs that I mentioned before, a 12 volt charging socket, the fully automatic gearbox, and a driver and passenger electrically heated seat. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.